now it's time for the plant failover. The difference between plant failover and the failover, the plant failover it's it's a plan for you to to turn off the uh, to turn off the the on-prem machine and turn it on on Azure. Or if you want a, a full migration to Azure, you can use this plant failover. The different the, the failover is the time you lost the connection to the machine. Let's say if your data center is down, you press a, a failover because there is no plan failover. The, the Azure, Azure portal is not connected to the VM or the host of the VM. So now we are going to, to choose plan failover. Okay, it's plan failover from side to Microsoft Azure. Okay, it started the plan failover. As you can see, it makes a prerequisites. prerequisites. <coughs> Uh, and uh, shuts down the virtual machine and starts the replica virtual machine on Azure. It usually takes around two minutes to five minutes to 10 minutes. Uh, and this depends on the size of the VM. Now we will wait till it ends and we can see that the VM is up there. And this is the Plant failover. Let's take a look on the host. As you can see here, this is the VM is turned off. If you try to turn it on, it won't work. It won't start because it's given comments that, as you can see, failed to start. Preventive because it's prepared for failover. Okay. <clears throat> now the failover is starting and the VM will be up on the cloud. You can use this scenario, as we said, for a uh, full migration. And you can use, <clears throat> I, I will explain for you exactly how to make a full migration to Azure. And you can use it as a failover on disaster recovery failover. Because the benefits of this uh, failover, you can <clears throat> make a failback and uh, shut down the Azure VM and turn on the on-prem VM and re-replicate, <clears throat> reverse replicate, as we can see it further on, uh, on our session. Okay, it needs a um, few, few more minutes and it will be up. Okay, the failover has started. Now you can see that the VM is up there. Okay, this is the VM. Now exists on Azure with the, with the settings, public IP. You can add the public IP and all the settings as on-prem. Okay. Go back to the recovery vault. In the recovery vault, we need to commit. We need to commit this failover. You go here, and you can commit the failover. You can change. You can change recovery point. Commit. Complete migration if you want to uh, fully migrate the VM to on-prem uh, to to the Azure. Sorry. <clears throat> then you, you will have the VM up on Azure and you can turn on the VM on on-prem but for sure you will have a uh, conflict so in, 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 uh, in many in many parts we had we had uh, problems and in, in, in replication and in the failback so we, need, we needed to make a complete migration Hence, when you make a complete migration, the replication will stop. The replication configuration will be removed and stopped from the on-prem VM. Okay, now we will commit the failover. So that we can make 
so that we can make a fail back if you want. Okay, it's committed. Not applicable. Okay. Okay, now you can see that we have this plant failover. This plant failover is, is a, it's called plant failover, but it's a fail back from Azure to on-prem. I will I will make the fail back as a as a session uh, by itself. So see you later on the next session.